Hey guys, it's Dana. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some really cute tumbler locker decor. All the DIYs are pretty inexpensive to make and are very simple to do. I went for a very tumbler black and white vibe and I think it turned out so cute. Like if I had a locker still, I would totally make mine look like this. Also, this is a huge collab with a few of my YouTube friends. Be sure to check out their back to school videos in the links down below or right here on the screen. So on the top is Riley with cute DIYs for the school year. In the middle is Ellie with back to school life hacks and tips. And on the bottom is Timmy with struggles of back to school shopping. So definitely go and check out their videos. They're all awesome. And if you liked this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what day you're going back to school. And if you're new to my channel or visiting from Riley, Ellie, or Timmy's channel, hit the subscribe button down below so you can keep on seeing videos from me. So let's just get started. Okay, so I like to think of lockers as being a mini room. So the first thing you need to address when decorating a room is the floor. So the first DIY is this fluffy pom-pom rug. So for this DIY, you're going to need a rug underlay, and I got this at the dollar store, as well as some yarn in any color that you want. First, we're just going to start by making a bunch of pom-poms. So to do this, just take your yarn and wrap it around your fingers about 50 times. Then take another piece of yarn that's about 6 inches long and place that ball of yarn on top of it and tie it in the center. And then grab some scissors and cut the loops on each side and you have your pom-poms. The amount of pom-poms you'll need to make is really dependent on how big your locker floor is. So just make as many as you need to cover the whole floor of your locker. And then once you're done with that, you can take the rug underlay and cut it to the size of your locker and then just tie all the pom-poms onto the underlay. The next thing to think about is the walls, or in this case, the door. So I decided to make a cool plus sign pattern on the locker door. So for this super simple DIY, all you'll need is some electrical tape as well as some scissors. So just start by cutting the electrical tape into about one inch sections. And then all you have to do is put them together in an X formation and that's it. This is great because they're totally removable and they won't hurt the locker. Now, moving on to the lower half of the door, I wanted to add some cute decor that was also functional, so I made this cute grid picture hanger. So for this DIY, you'll need some wooden dowels, as well as a glue gun. So to start, all you have to do is take your wooden dowels and form them into a square first, and this will be the base of the grid picture hanger. Then you wanna add two more to the center of that, flip it over and add two more going in the opposite direction and that's it. One locker essential is a mirror because sometimes you need to check yourself, especially after gym class. This DIY mirror is unlike any other I've seen before. So you're going to need some scissors as well as a mirror that looks like a hexagon and some yarn. So start by taking a really long piece of string and fold it in half and then place the mirror in the center. Take the end with the loop and fold it over the mirror and then pull the string through the loop. And then to secure that in place, you wanna tie this in a knot and you might wanna do a double knot just to be safe. Then I added two more pieces of yarn to the bottom and secured those in a knot.
Now we're gonna make two tassels to go on the bottoms of this. So using the same method as we did before for the pom-poms, you're gonna wrap that around 50 times and then take another piece of string that's smaller and concentrate this towards the top of the tassel. Tie that in a knot to secure it and then cut the bottom half of the tassel. So once you've made two of them, you just want to attach those to the bottom of the mirror where you made those two little loops. So just attach them by tying them in a knot. Lastly is the lights. Think about it. What tumbler room doesn't have twinkly lights in them? Just take some battery operated lights, I found these in the Target dollar section, and hung them up with some tape. And although this isn't a DIY, I thought I'd add it in for some inspiration. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below what day you're going back to school. And if you are new to my channel or visiting from Timmy, Ellie, or Riley's channel, hit the subscribe button down below so you can keep on seeing videos from me. And don't forget to go and check out their videos too. They'll be linked down below. So I will see you guys next time. Stir.